Hi everybody, my name is Steven and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to install RoboWare IDE and I'm going to give a tutorial on how to use it and how to get it set up with your ROS workspace. So to begin the installation process you'll need to go to my GitHub account uh, or my GitHub repo. I'll put a link to that into the description. To begin, let's open up a terminal. And in this terminal, I'm just going to go through these installation pages here in the README file. The first step is to the clone the repository into a directory. So it doesn't matter which directory. I'm just going to go ahead and clone it into my home directory. So I'll hit enter. And I could have done it in my desktop. I could have done it in my downloads. It's not going to matter because... Uh, once we unpack this, we're going to install a Debian file, and that'll install it onto our Ubuntu system. And from there, we can delete whatever has been cloned here and still be allowed and able to use RoboWare. Uh, one other thing that's getting installed is a manual. So if you're brand new to RoboWare, uh, you might want to go through that manual and get an idea of what some of your options are. So that repository has just finished getting cloned. Uh, now we need to navigate into the folder that was just created, which is called RoboWare. So I'm going to navigate to that directory. And inside it, there's three files. Uh, the file of interest right now is the .deb file. So this is what's going to allow me to install this RoboWare Studio onto my computer. So I'm going to copy this sudo dpkg. Uh, command here from the github readme file and I'm gonna paste that into my terminal hit enter and it's gonna prompt me with this package configuration page uh, so this is basically just a license agreement that you can look through uh, when you're ready you can click the right key on your keyboard and it'll highlight OK in red and then press enter on your keyboard and then it says, do you accept the agreement? Of course, you should select yes with enter on your keyboard. And this will allow RoboWare to actually begin installing. Uh, once the installation is complete, uh, we will look for this under our applications. Uh, so in the top left here, I'm going to search my computer for RoboWare. And I see RoboWare Studio, and I'm going to... I could click it and it'll open it, but I'm actually going to drag it onto my toolbar. Uh, so I just drag that onto my toolbar and I'm going to go ahead and click it. And this is what RoboWare uh, looks like when you first bring it up. So anyways, I think uh, the first thing I need to show you is how to set up a workspace. So if you go to File in the top left, you can select New Workspace and type in the name of your workspace so i'm just going to call it robo ws and you need to select a folder below so i'm going to select my home directory and click save so anyways now that we have a blank workspace uh the first thing we might want to do just to make sure everything's working okay is to uh, run a quick compilation make sure uh, this empty workspace can compile which of course it should be able to um, so to do that, here at the very top, there is a hammer, which is used to uh, run a build task. And we need to select the task we're interested in. And it's not remote deploy. So we're going to click this drop down. Uh, and there's several different tasks you can select. Uh, but if you're just initially working on your code, you probably want to select debug. And if your code is ready for production and release, you should put it on release. So anyways, we're going to leave this on debug and click the hammer and let it compile. So here at the bottom, I can see my normal uh, compilation that comes from compiling. Uh, this is the same as entering catkin make into your uh, catkin workspace. All right, so now that we've shown that our workspace is usable, I think the first thing we ought to do is create a package. So I've got my source folder that the packages are going to live in. So I'm going to go ahead and right click this source folder. And I can see the drop down menu here uh, has the option for adding a ROS package. And I'm going to give this a name and I'm just going to call it tutorial one. 
and select enter. And I now have a package that if I click, it has automatically generated the CMake list and the package XML list. And this is honestly the primary reason I've decided to use this IDE. It uh, basically gave a very easy and quick way to generate the CMake list and package XML list. Because when I was doing all this just through normal text editors, generating those files was kind of a major pain. We've created our package directory. Now we need to create a source folder inside of that directory in which our nodes can be. Uh, so I've right clicked on my package and I'm going to go down to add source folder and inside this source folder this is where my nodes are going to be so I'm going to right click on this folder and it says or prompts you you can add either a C++ or a Python file let's add a C++ file and I can give that a name and I'll call it example one and when I hit enter, it prompts me for what type of file this should be, and it's going to be uh, executable. So when I push this, um, basically it's going to add the corresponding lines to the CMake list that are required to make this executable. So actually, instead of hitting either of those, I'm going to escape out of that, and I'm going to open up the CMake list first uh, and show you basically what is happening. So I'm going to scroll down here at the bottom. And okay, so we see there's nothing to do with executables here at the bottom. So again, I'm going to walk through this process of right clicking on the source folder, add C. I'm going to type example one as my node name, hit enter, and then I'm going to add as a new executable. And you can see it automatically added these lines to my CMake list. Um, so I added it as a executable and it added the uh, dependencies. So that right there makes it useful to me. Um, so now that my CMake list is ready to go, I'm going to exit out of that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up our file that we've just created called example1.c++. And here I'm going to show you a little trick that I always do. Um, I don't normally write the bare bones code for a node what I'll do is instead I'll access something that I've written previously um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up a file here so essentially I keep a package that contains certain types of templates that I can just copy over so you can see that I've, I've named them here what they are uh, I'm going to open up barenode.c++. So anyways, this is the code I want in my example 1.c++. So I'm going to just copy that over and click exit. All right, so now that I have some code that can possibly be compiled, I'm going to go ahead and hit the compile button. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully that will compile without any problem. All right, so it looks like that compiled just fine. Alright guys, I hope that helped and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.